Hey everyone, it's Will with ManufacturedHomes.com. Welcome back to Where's Will's Manufactured Home Tours, and thank you for spending some time with me today here on the channel. Today I'm in Puyallup, Washington, and we're visiting Detray's Custom Housing. And the home right behind me is an immaculate triple wide built by Kit Custom Home Builders. This floor plan I have not seen before, and I love the way this floor plan flows. So let's get in there. I'm going to tell you all about it. Like I said, everybody, we are taking a look at another gorgeous Kit Custom Home Builder home, and this one happens to be a triple wide. Take a look at that front facade. I'm loving the size of the windows, uh, the windows around the door, and even that red door. I like that. And let's not even start about the porch. The porch is eight feet across by 40 feet long. Imagine what you could do with that. And then there it is. There's that Kit Custom Home Builder window that I love so much, and that rock work underneath that looks fantastic and that's a great touch what we're looking at today everyone and taking a tour of is the cedar canyon 2060-1 this is a three bed two bath that sits at 1920 square feet and the dimensions of this home is a 56 foot by 48 foot the base price for this model is just about two hundred fifty five thousand dollars let's go take a home tour where's will Now, I've toured some triple wides in my day, but I've never opened into one like this. The front door is essentially right in the middle of this home, and the way they kind of have it set up is just gorgeous. You could do a lot with this home and the way they have it styled and designed, um, but there we go. This is your pretty much your, your main foyer here, and then on to the right-hand side over here, you have your living room with those vaulted ceilings and before we get going do us a favor hit that like button that helps out the channel it gets this video out to more people and overall it just helps us out so hey do that and if you haven't done so consider hitting that subscribe button and that notification bell that way you'll see these as soon as I post them this living room the size of this living room is 17 feet 4 inches by 13 feet 4 inches and I love that vault right there where that uh, ceiling fan is that is nice and this is where that big window is letting all that natural light in that is just a gorgeous touch in my opinion and I kind of like this you know it's an open concept floor plan but to me it doesn't really feel like that quintessential normal you know floor plan it's different it's nice like this right here you can use this as a dining room area or a sitting area um, it's it's just wonderful and then right over here you have your your you know dining area right here and that dining area is something like 10 feet across by 13 feet 4 inches that is nice and again look at all of those windows we have can lighting all over this home and this is tape and texture throughout and uh, we've got seven and a half foot sidewalls that go higher into the middle which is just about eight but it's looking really nice it's very it has a very classic feel in my opinion and uh, you know I think maybe it's all the the the, the wood tone and here, what do you think about that? Let me know in the comments below. One thing that I like about this home is where the cooking surface is, which we'll you know, get over there in a moment and take a look at, but look at all the cabinetry. Look at all the drawers. This home is well put together. And then right here, that big um, window just goes along with that big black sink and that pull down gooseneck faucet. I love that window. Um, there is your dishwasher and like I said right over here they have the cooking surface on your island what do you think about that the cool thing about it too though is that grate in the middle that pulls all of your air down so that is your ventilation system um, in in this home which I think is awesome you know because um, that was my first worry was like what if I'm cooking something and now the, the heat goes up and you know hits my ceiling nope that pulls it all down that, that is really nice um, and uh, we're taking a look at the drawers here. They are soft closed, well, very well constructed. This home comes with the um, stainless steel appliance package. You could change that, of course, to go with your, with your preference. 
And then right over there, I mean, take a look. We have the oven right there, and that microwave is actually an air fryer microwave, which is a great touch. Um, and here we've got adjustable shelves with the, uh, the white um, lining on the inside, and that looks classy to me. I love the backsplash. We've got the small type backsplash all the way across. Uh, the, sh the cupboards up there, does have, they do have an opening. So dust bunnies or decor. <laughs> you take your, you, you make your choice there. And then we have a Lazy Susan right there, which is a nice touch. That makes uh, things easier when you are cooking and looking for certain things. It's a great place to put it. And then over here, more storage, more cabinet, more cupboard space. Looking nice. Oh, those weren't soft clothes. <laughs> and right over there we have a uh, pantry we're going to look at and see what we have in here, which so far I see four shelves on this side, reinforced shelving, and then we have four on the other side. So these are some great strong shelves. Um, no matter what kind of can you're going to put on here, it'll hold it. And then I love that um, that frosted glass door right there. That's That's a nice touch, very classy. And then right there too, you also have an eat-in um, counter there on the island available for about four so just don't get too close you might burn yourself if you know you reach over and try to grab something from the stove there right and then right in here we have some uh, linen storage right here we've got a linen closet thick shelves right there you see the reinforcement underneath as well tape and texture throughout this entire home we've got rounded corners um, very classy style very classy design uh, very classic to that too, in my opinion. Right over here, we're going into the utility mudroom here, and right there, you have enough room for possibly, you know, a freezer. Uh, I don't see any plug-ins, so that looks just more like an open area. Right there is your uh, your your HVAC system. Right behind that grate, there is your electrical panel, decently sized. Here is our first guest room. Now in this first guest room, this one happens to be the biggest one at 12 feet by 13 feet, four inches. I love the transom window right above the area. You would probably put your bed. I'm spinning around, taking a look. That's how much room you know you would have in this in, in this bedroom here. Two big windows. You know, you could always put your bed on that side too if you wanted. That's pretty cool. And this one's off to the other side. It's not by anybody. So, you know, it's actually a very nice guest area here. And then in the closet, we have your um, wooden coat rod, wooden shelf. And oh, there it is. There is your water access. So that's where you want to store your screwdriver. Like I said, you know, if you don't mind, hit that like button. That, like I said, helps out the channel, gets this video out to more people. Um, and yeah, that's what YouTube wants to see. Um, let's take a look at the uh, gas bath. Now, this is pretty much a Jack and Jill gas bath connecting one side of the house to the other. So um, we have a single vanity there. We the same uh, backsplash design. Over here behind this door, we have some storage, which is always appreciated. The white lining on the inside is looking really nice. Top one has no shelves, bottom one has more shelves. And then right over here, you have a nicely positioned um, 60 by 30 bath shower tub combo. Right there. And then that is where your elongated toilet or commode is with a, a, a towel rod right there. Now this one, I see a drawer bank of three over there to the left-hand side, some storage there in the bottom, and some decent lighting, so that's that's nice. That is cool. And now we're on the other side of the house, so let's check this out. Over here, we have a, a, a closet, sliding doors here, extra coat storage or whatnot, because remember, I'm standing in the Pacific Northwest. From what I'm told, it gets very cold. I'm from California, I wouldn't know, we have no seasons. Now we're in the uh, second guest here, and this room is 10 feet 8 inches by 13 feet 4 inches, so it is a little smaller than the other one, but it actually has a great bit of room in it. 
taking a look there. One window here to let that natural light in. The closet is just a touch smaller than the other one. Let's take a look and gander in there. Nice. Probably the only reason it's smaller is because it doesn't have the, uh, the water, you know, access there. <laughs> now the uh, the registers are on the floor in this home, so your air and heating are coming from below, just to let you know. And now let's go on over here. And what I like too is they have this little nook area here, you know, desk area, um, you know, it's perfectly positioned for, you know, a nice sized chair. We have drawers there underneath and you have some storage up top here. That's good. And uh, the, the desktop there has a hole in the back. So, you know, you can connect things up and down and so forth and it has a backsplash. Um, but it's nice, you know, and I, I do like the archway, you know, right above there. Um, so if you have little ones that need to sit down, do homework or, or that's a great spot for it. See, I like that little, uh, little archway there. All right. Now let's go into this room and see what we have. Now the primary here, everyone, is 15 feet, seven inches by 13 feet, four inches. Two big windows there. I believe this is a queen size bed in here to give you that sizing reference. You can definitely put a, uh, a king or even a California king in here easily. We have a double door walk-in closet here two shelves, two coat rods, reinforced all the way around, and that seems like it's ample storage, ample for sure. And now let's go over here and check out what the uh, primary bath is all about. Now so far I like that one, that, that, those windows over there. But we have got dual vanities here, big uh, big big window. This is where your commode is, which has its own little water closet right there um, and there is some storage on this side so that's nice so if you run out of anything you don't have to uh, go search for it It'd be right there that is cool and that is a pocket door which is nice um, you know it's not a, uh, a barn door or you just this one makes sense right there and I love those glass blocks that's what I was saying a minute ago those glass blocks Right there, we have a transom window, letting that natural light in to this uh, restroom here. Take a look at the tiling and the uh, shower head here. You got a rain shower head. I believe this is a, a resin tile. I could be wrong. Um, I love the, the style in the middle there to break it off. Good. Oh, hey. It's a dual. There's a seat right there. It, it is a dual. Um, we have two shower heads in this one. That's pretty cool. I didn't expect that. I had to actually second guess myself. I was walking through the matrix, but nope, we have two of them right there and two on off switches with a little seat right there. That is nice. That is cool. And like I said, nice little backsplash right there. You have a drawer bank in the middle, plenty of storage underneath, big big mirror. Uh, more than ample room in my opinion. Great lighting up top um, and like I was saying, can lighting throughout the, the rest of this home um, which is really nice. And that was the uh, the primary area. Um, what do you guys think about this home? This one was different. You know, it's a little more of a box. Um, you know, most uh, triple wides I do are a little different in size and shape and so forth, but this one was really cool and I wanted to bring it to you. So um, thank you everybody, you know, for joining me today and for all of the home tours that you have caught. And I hope to see you again on the next ones, wherever that's going to be. So, but until next time, I hope you have a wonderful day. Of course, please live smarter, choose manufactured. And as I always say, because I'm always on the road, travel easy. I'll see you next time.